Liliana and Jeremiah are both 19 years old and they've been married for just three months. But instead of enjoying the honeymoon phase of their marriage, these two are accusing each other of cheating. She says Jeremiah has been too flirtatious with an old roommate and he says Liliana's ex keeps popping back into their lives. Uh, Liliana, why are you here? I'm here because um, I need to find out Jeremiah has something going on with that girl that we, we were roommates with back in, like, in a, a while back. Um, I asked him, I would come home, he would just be in the, you know, like, you in the kitchen, what? like, do you have something going on with her? And he would say no, but he would get mad and walk away. But every time I would come home, he'd be in the kitchen with her. I would open the door and he'd be walking right out the kitchen. Um, but I that's would, better than the bedroom though, right? Well, there was times that I would catch him walking out of the hallway that leads to her bedroom. Yeah. So now you're 19 years old, you're married three months, and you're both accusing each other of cheating on each other. Do you see a future? I do. How long do you think you'll be married? I don't know. <laughs> Probably forever. Probably <laughs> forever. It took you a while to say it. I mean, most people just say that, right? You yeah. know. But really, how long do you think you'll really be married? I think I'll be him for, with him forever. forever. Yeah. yeah. We've been friends forever, and it led to a relationship, and now we're married. I'm giving you another 18 months, and then it's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're going to be married forever, too. <laughs> <laughs> what if he what if he fails for cheating on you? Um, then forever gets very short. Yeah, right. If he did cheat, then I'm going to have to leave. But if this happened between the time we were broken up, right. no, I'm not going to. But if it happened since you've been married? I'm going to leave. Because she's living in your place, Yeah, right? and I helped her out. And I was helping him out, actually, too, because he didn't have a job at the time. So I was like, you know what? I have a job. Like, let me help you out. He didn't want me to. We were like, no. Well, let's meet your husband, Jeremiah. So you really think I would cheat on you? What? You really think I would cheat on you? Yes, I do. I do. I did it. So why is she posting you on her Snapchat? Honestly, I Why don't were know. you walking out of the kitchen every single time I would come home from work and she'd be in there? There was no day that you would come out of the kitchen and she wasn't in there. She and was there. always in there. You were coming out of the hallway that led right into her room. And there's no day that she was always trying to be around me. I already told you about the Snapchat part. I didn't know about it. How does it feel to be 19 and married? I like it, honestly. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not bad. So you can put up with it? Yes, I can. Do you love her? Yes, I do. And how long do you think you'll be married for? Forever, hopefully. Forever. But seriously, how long do you think? Until the day I die. So the day you die. There you go. Now, why, if she asks you the day before you get married, hey, did you sleep with this girl? And you're like, no, 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 no. Why then have the girl live with you after you get married? She didn't. No, she didn't live with us after we got married. Oh, so she's not with no. you now? She moved mm -hmm. out. When's the last time you slept with her? That time. Well, I didn't sleep with her. Oh! I already told her about one after that. That was you the one. You slept with her one time. Not that one. Wait, so, so you slept with someone. You slept with someone. You know about it. You had it. sexual intercourse no, with someone. No, not sleeping like that. Okay, no he didn't intercourse. tell me whenever me and him, whenever me and him were broken up, he did spend the night with some girl. He and did, he kissed her. Yeah, that's the girl that he kissed. And, and you think he only kissed her? Yeah. And what made just, you stop at kissing? It was just a little tiny kiss. I mean, I didn't feel nothing for her. And you don't really believe that she's cheating on you, though, right? I do. Come on. You just did that because you're coming on the show, right? No. You think she's sleeping with her ex? Maybe talking she to him. She said she never slept with him. Maybe talking to him. But if, even most... if she is talking to him, that's not cheating, is it? Well, to me, it kind of is. And what if she is? What if she fails her lie detector test? Then it's going to, I don't know. It's going to break me because I already asked her, too. If she was talking to anybody else or anything while we were but together. But you've only been married three months. I mean, you could just forgive that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's find out.
Does anybody think she's going to fail? No. Nobody. Since being in a relationship with Jeremiah, have you had sexual, physical contact with any other males? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Jeremiah, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males? She said no. The results came back the same. And it came back that Liliana told the truth. Uh, Jeremiah came here to take a lie detector test, and he made a confession in the beginning. Uh, Jeremiah confessed that he kissed his roommate. Oh, that's the girl that you said you never slept with. You said he kissed her. He states that Liliana knows about this. He also confessed to kissing another girl. He states he spent the whole night with her, but only kissed her. There was no sexual contact or intercourse. Did you know all that? Yes, I did. Okay. So then we went on to give him the lie detector test. And we asked him, besides kissing two females, since in a relationship with Liliana, have you had any other sexual physical contact with other females? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Liliana, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females? He answered no. Other than the one kiss with that roommate, did you engage in any other sexual activity with her? He answered no. The results came back all the same to each question, and it came back that Jeremiah did not tell the truth. I asked you, I gave you multiple chances. I mean, you're having intercourse with other women, and you had sexual activity with your roommate. And you've been telling her, no, 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 I only kissed her. If you're 19 years old, why would you get married if you want to be with different women? Because guess what? Everything that you're doing, I did when I was 19. The only difference was I didn't get married. Yeah. Like, why, why restrict your life at such a young age, still being a teenager? Why would you want to take on the responsibility of marriage? Because I love this one. Oh, come on. I mean, if you loved her, if you really loved her, why didn't you tell then me? you want to be Why didn't you, you be tell cheating me before, on her? The day, we got, the day before we got married, Jeremiah, I told you, I'm not going to be mad, but I need to know. Because I knew you would have left me by then. Well, then it's fair, right? Yeah. So you went into your marriage being deceitful. I did change, and I've... You've been married three months. <laughs> yeah, but we've been together for two years. Yeah, but you've been sleeping with the roommate, you've been sleeping with other people. The last time this happened was in February. Ever since then, I've been nothing but committed to her. Now, I know you can't really give an answer exactly what you do, because the truth of it is, you're going to be mad now, mm -hmm. but when you walk off the stage, will you tell me what's going to happen? Um, I'm not going to be like, you know what, it's over, I don't want nothing to do with you. Because I do love him, you know, we've been... So it's good or gone. Yeah, so... Um, I think I'm just going to go back to my mom and dad's house and think. That's probably a good idea. I don't want to be like by him and for him to be Can like, Can I ask you a question? Sorry. What did your mom and dad say about getting married at 19? They were okay with it. They, they were okay. They said whatever we, they supported us. Okay. I'm just telling you, if it doesn't work out, take your time next time around, all right? Thank Thanks, you. Thank you.